Hello, everybody. Looks like the gauge says it's empty. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Dogfish Head. Uh, this is their Dogfish Head 61. So basically what they've done here is this is, I'm, uh, I'm saying this is the, probably their, their Dogfish 60. And it's been done with grape must. So this will probably have a little bit of wine characteristics since they've got some grapes influence in this beer. So, uh, let's, uh, let's see what it has to say about this one. American IPA, 6.50 on ABV. This comes in a four-pack. Uh, says availability is rotating. They actually had this beer when we went up to Dogfish Head a couple of weeks ago. And as soon as we walked in the door, they was erasing it off the board. They just kicked the keg. So, we missed out probably about ten minutes of getting to try this there. So, it's kind of disappointing. So, when I seen it here, I went ahead and picked up a four-pack. And I normally don't do that without buying one by itself first. Because a lot of times these beers are hit and miss. And if it's a miss, I've got three or five more to drink. This is a four-pack. So they're charging you $10 for a four-pack. Or normally a six-pack of 60 is $10. So they're kind of screwing you out of two beers. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, we're going to find out if this is worth it. And I'm not going to pull any punches. If it's not, I'm going to tell you that it's not. So, And this is just my opinion. And according to what... I like and, and, and what I've read and what we evaluate this beer as being so without flapping my gums too much further let's get into the food pairings cuisine is your curry and Thai your typical IPA uh, food pairings cheeses are peppery Monterey pepper jack sharp blue cheddar your more pungent cheeses gorgonzola Limburger. the meat is poultry fish shellfish and salmon the glass bar is a pint becker stein a mug a tumbler and it's not recommended for extended salaries so since it is a continually hopped beer still considered an ipa so let's get the cap off the sign and get it in the glass i have not had this beer before this will be the first time oh it almost looks like grapefruit juice is pink And I am getting a, I am getting a big nose of grapes from here. I can smell the grapes. I'm not much into the sours or the fruity beers, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Over to the light, it has a definite reddish pink hue to it. A lot of bubbles trimming up. That pour gave us about a finger of head. And the head has a slight pinkish tint to it too. Almost eggshell color. Tight bubbles there. Looks very good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Yes, definitely smells exactly for what it is. It smells like a dogfish at 60 with the citrusy, hoppy, upfront aroma with some grape juice, like some red grape juice poured in there. Definitely getting the grapes on the smell. It smells very sweet. And I tell okay, you, the ABV was 6.5% on this beer. And I just read it, they're going to up production to produce more of this beer. So uh, they seem to think it's going to be fairly popular. And they were in the midst of an expansion when I was up there a couple of weeks ago. And I think it was about almost ready. So I look for that, produ that increased production to take effect any day now if it hasn't already. Smells very interesting in the glass. Definitely getting the hoppiness and the grapes. And, and that's pretty much masking everything else to me. Yep, definitely smells like uh, it's got a, a strong wine characteristic to it. So guys, let's give it a taste. Cheers. And it does. Very strong grape taste. Very different 
taste kind of balanced though. It's not really bitter. Very interesting though, um, being not into the fruitier beers, I don't see a call for me buying a lot of this. For all the wine lovers out there, or the people that are really into grapes or grape juice or anything like that, they may really, really like this beer, but kind of a unique interesting uh, brew they've done here. It's kind of masking a lot of the other flavors that grapes are to me. Well, let's try the fridge. 40 degrees. You know the deal and the drill. We're going to let it warm up just a hair. Let the other half taste it. Of course, we got three more bottles of this to drink. And like I said, this will be once, once in a while beer. And being an IPA, you're not going to want to keep this around very long, so I plan on probably having the other three within the next month or so. so. But not super impressed so far. Maybe my mind will change by the time I get to the end. Stick around. We'll see what happens. Final chug coming up. Hey, right, everybody. I'm back. Got just a little left here. This beer is a decent beer. I mean, it's not, to me, my personal opinion is not quite as good as the standard 60 minute dogfish head. But. If you like the fruit of your beers and you like a little bit of grape influence in your IPAs, this is the one you probably ought to try. Found you. I believe I would rate the regular Dogfish Head 60 over this one. Even though it's a nice change, something different, and very tasty. I, I just can't see me. Uh, buying a bunch of this uh, even though I do like a, a nice glass of wine occasionally and I have brewed some wines most of the wines I've brewed have not been great influence uh, I've did strawberry and and uh, mango and several other uh, different types of beer but I've actually not brewed a grape or a, a typical grape wine so it's okay it was okay guys uh, I'm looking for a date on, on the bottle, and I do not see one, and I was pretty sure they usually dated their stuff. But I do not see anything on the label or the bottle. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of disappointed because I thought that they did that up there. I do not see nothing on this one, whether they are not doing every one, but I do not see any kind of dating on there, which is a no-no, in my opinion. So, Sam, what's up with that, buddy? I mean, I thought you dated your stuff. So, uh, guys, if it had a date, I'd probably give it a 7, which is a B plus. But since it does not have a date, and it is an IPA, it's going to get the 6, which is a B beer. And I may be a little over generous doing that, because it is definitely different than a standard dogfish head 60. And we're not getting that up in your face hop aroma and a hop taste that you normally do. The uh, the grape must is really subduing all the other flavors in my opinion. So uh, with that being said, if you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. We go to the ratings now. Beer Advocate says it's 81, which is in a good range, which is a B beer, I would consider. And Beer Advocate, I mean, Rate Beer says uh, 70 overall and 40 in the style. Not good numbers there at all, guys. So, if you've had this one, give me some comments back whether you liked it, didn't like it. And if you see it, pick it up, give it a try. Uh, I was not able just to buy a single bottle of this. This came from the Kroger store, and uh, the particular one that we get this beer from doesn't do the mixed six packs. The one down the street here does that, but they don't carry this particular beer. The beer distribution in Virginia is just horrendous. What one Kroger store carries, the other one does not. Doesn't make any sense to me, guys. Well, why and, and how they do the, the beer distribution like that. Now they, we ask them that too, and they say, oh, we just don't have room. Well, uh, why don't you have room? Let's make room. Let's get some of the macro loggers out of here. But they're not going to do that because they sell a ton of that. There's just so many of the young crowd uh, that just wants to purchase 18 beers for six dollars and, and get shit faced on it. They don't give a damn what it tastes like. So as they get older, hopefully their balls will drop and they'll get a taste for real beer. What do you think? <laughs> All right, guys. Shit probably said that, but that's just the way I feel. But I was in that crowd. I was. I drank Budweiser exclusively for 30 years. It's about so. 
I was kind of in behind the cloud myself. So we're gonna try to enlighten these people and and don't and don't mealy mouth them. And I and I, I'm guilty as that as anybody else. Don't want to be a beer snob or anything like that. But I like a beer with a little more taste. And this one, being a hop head, didn't quite do it for me. So with that being said, like I said, don't ram ramble on. This will be a 20 minute video. It was okay. Not blowing my hair back, my socks off. I would pretty prefer a, a standard 60 minute or even a 90 minute over the 61. So with that being said, guys, let's go see what's in the freezer tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button. See everybody tomorrow.